चाइल्ड बर्थ चाइल्ड बर्थ डू यू थिंक मेल्स आल्सो हैव ऑक्सीटोसिन डॉक्टर बकास बट दे डोंट हैव ब्रेस्ट एंड यूट्रस आई थिंक सो व्हाट ऑक्सीटोसिन इज डूइंग इन द मेल्स यस डॉक्टर बकास यू वांट टू कीप योर इंफॉर्मेशन ओके यस डू यू डू यू थिंक ओनली फीमेल हैव ऑक्सीटोसिन और मेल्स आल्सो हैव व्हाट ऑक्सीटोसिन इज डूइंग इन मेल बॉडी फॉर अट्रैक्शन I mean, if I inject you oxytocin, you will develop attraction. <laughs> no, the right word is is partly right. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oxytocin is a bonding hormone. Yeah. It's a cuddle hormone. It's really okay, loving hormone. Actually, when one human being touches the other human being, in both of them, their body there's a release of oxytocin. And if you touch someone again and again and again and hug and kiss and right. even especially when the orgasm is there there's a big surge of oxytocin and oxytocin act in the central nervous system on the neurons and develop emotional bonding between the human beings is that right that is why it is called bonding hormones bonding hormones right and here i would love to mention one thing usually females release more oxytocin as compared to the men that is why usually female get more strongly bonded with the men and men do get bonded but weakly and they can drift away easily is that right and women can never understand why men don't remain loyal they are designed wrongly or differently i must say right so oxytocin hormone is a bonding hormone too right so female releases lot of oxytocin that is why they get emotionally bonded very quickly not quickly strongly remember girls don't get attached quickly they can attract anyone quickly but bonding takes time right and here i must mention one thing the something which is called love in the beginning stage you know the early days of love when you got involved and suddenly world changes that days that depends on that does not depend on oxytocin that depends on no that depends on serotonin dopamine and norepinephrine serotonin dopamine and norepinephrine these uh, substance neurotransmitters when they are too much in your brain and especially when you think of your beloved person or you look at the photo or look at the person these har- uh, these neurotransmitters surge and you know what these neurotransmitters they keep in heightened alert state and uh, they suppress your areas of brain which are concerned with analysis and enhance the activate the areas which are concerned with emotional so you are a heightened emotionality about that person without any sensible analysis right and you are in love is that right so in the beginning of love usually your early phase is dominated by what Sorry. dopamine serotonin norepinephrine but as time passes by the purpose of these three is to keep the male and female bonded and of time until what female gets pregnant and baby is there yes but meanwhile as time passes by both of them start releasing male and female more and more oxytocin and then the bonding come so that if really bonding occur that baby which come due to some planned or unplanned inadvertent activity both of them may remain bonded for years to take care of that baby right so in this way the early part of the love the magical part where serotonin dopamine and norepinephrine is very high concentration that is a part of the love which is basically excited stage and you don't think of anything and you just go ahead with your love you want plan to go ahead in the after the your loved one even if he is or she is going to hell right so, right but if you really get involved and stay together then enough oxytocin is released so that if there's a baby then what should happen you should be bonded bonded enough but men are in trouble usually you know what happen they are attached with one woman get this uh, special magical what is this this uh, dopamine serotonin and right right and then they get male and female get bonded but some of some men are addicted to that early phase so then they find another woman and want to experience that thing and so and so forth and women never understand where the old true love days have gone where they have gone but still they may love each other why they love each other oxytocin is there you may find a man who says i love my wife i don't want to hurt her but i want to have multiple romances extra what extra cellular activity no extra marital activities 
some men who cannot control themselves. They want to have those activities, but at the same time they don't want to hurt their family. Maybe in the family they have oxytocin going on, bonding. And other side they are having? Dopamine, serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine activity. So what really happened, that excitement phase of love, some people like to repeat it again and again. Is that right? And very important thing. And what happened? Why nature plans that after some time those three excitatory hormones, neurotransmitters should go down? You know why? Because in early love, when serotonin, dopamine and norepinephrine is there, you focus more on your relationship and so much focus on your beloved that many important things in life you are not doing or they are disrupted. They are disrupted. But actually if you continue like that, life will be destroyed. So nature just keeps you in magical moments which is usually six months to two years depending upon the couple. And then that spell breaks and oxytocin comes to hold you together. When oxytocin is high then man can go out and still start working and focusing on other things in the world. And women can focus on the baby. Your understanding? In most of the couples this only happens once or twice in a life. And 10% couple are lucky. They repeatedly fall in love with each other. Right? But for men what happens? Usually they go look after where they can get that spell again and again. And for women what they do? It's almost every woman complain with her loving husband. Those are very good days when you used to love me. You used to bring the flowers. Of course now he's not bringing flower, but maybe he's bringing other things. Maybe it is bringing table and chair and rice, but she is not happy for the things. You are getting it. So what really happens, women also long for those days. And men really go for those days. You are understanding? So purpose of oxytocin is just to what? Bond. And in this way, passionate love, passionate love, which depends on? No. Passionate love, which depend on dopamine, serotonin and norepinephrine with the time convert into affectionate love passion is finished between husband and wife and affection is developed and affection continues okay let's come back